a reflection is just a type of transformation where a figure just gets flipped and it's reflected or flipped in a line called the line of reflection. So down below we have an example. If the blue pentagon here is my original figure or my pre-image, this line denotes the line of reflection. It's kind of like a mirror where on the other side or in the mirror I see the exact same shape but it's the mirror image of the original. Here's an example of a reflection. Um, I've got my points A, B, and C, which if I join them together are going to make a triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflect this triangle. I'm going to make the mirror image of it over some line of reflection. And in this case, I think what we're going to do, just to show this example first, is that we're going to make the x-axis the line of reflection. So in other words, you have to imagine, even though there's already a line drawn here, that we're that the line itself for our line of reflection is on the x-axis itself. So the x-axis is acting like a mirror. So if I want to reflect A, basically what I want to do is I want to go down to the line of reflection, and then I want to go that many spaces, one, two, three spaces, in the opposite direction. And so we would call this A prime. Um, if I do it with C, notice how C is one unit above the line of reflection, so I want to go one line below, uh, one unit below the line of reflection, and that's going to be C prime. And then this sometimes happens as well, which is that in this case, B is on the line of reflection itself, so it really doesn't go anywhere. It's zero units away from the line of reflection, so B and B prime are the same thing. Now, if I've done this right and I join together my points, what I should get is a congruent triangle but it's just the mirror image version of the original. All right, so that's reflecting over the x-axis. Now you can imagine the y-axis is much the same thing then. Let's say I take this problem and again, another triangle. And the only difference is where I'm putting the mirror, where I'm putting that line of reflection. So in this case, what has changed is we're gonna make the y-axis, the line of reflection. So if you can imagine A here, well, A is one, two, three, four, five units away from our mirror, our line of reflection. So I just want to go in the opposite direction, one, two, three, four, five spaces. And this would be A prime. All right, B, same thing. B is two spaces away from our mirror. So on the other side of the mirror, I'm going to put B prime. Now, this is where sometimes it gets a little tricky, and that's why I included this example, is that you'll notice how the other side of the triangle is already on the opposite side of the mirror. Okay, well, you do it no differently, though. Well, C is two spaces away on this side of the line of reflection, so I want to go two spaces in the opposite direction, and that's where C prime will go. Okay, and it always gets a little confusing when your line of reflection, your mirror, is within the object that you're trying to reflect. Okay, but once again, if you've done it right and you join all your points up, you should get the mirror image version of the original, and it should be congruent to the original as well.